Tell me, none of your spies have returned. Nizoth is out there, and we need answers now. We are doing all we can. Speaker Magni is coming, along with a new advisor. He claims to have information for us. Oh, by the light, a new advisor. <clears throat> I suppose I deserved that. Oh, you deserve more than that. My father is dead because of you! And my father is dead because of the old gods. Lad, he's come to help us. Nefarium the Earth Warden was once the protector of Azeroth, but Nazoth turned a noble mind to madness, and now my father is only remembered as Deathwing. And as I haven't the least desire to share that fate, I've been studying how to avoid it. Just tell me how to prepare for this attack. Our armies will be useless. Nazoth will strike here. He'll manipulate emotions, get people to act in ways contrary to their nature. You won't be able to trust your senses, your memories, your friends. After all, what is real if our perceptions cannot be trusted? Anduin! Anduin! Don't you see, old friend? It's already begun. Very well, advisor. Tell us how to stop him. Efficiency. 37? That can't be enough to keep Lazarus protected. Affirmative. Additional power sources required. Initiating query for suitable alternatives. Stand by. It looks like your work isn't done, champion. Save that they believe themselves the sole defenders of the Titan's great works. In their eyes, all others are corrupted by the curse of flesh, and are enemies of the makers. It is imperative that they be kept away from the forge. To the west, another threat looms. Terrible monstrosities have emerged from the sands and gather in great numbers. Though we suspect they hail from Encourage, they are unlike any Karaji or Silithid we have faced before. And worst of all, our priests are plagued by unrelenting nightmares. They see our cities burning to ash, and our people turning against each other. I fear that these visions are but the harbinger of something far more dire. We must prepare ourselves. For disaster. See, the speak of Mantid. And what is the reason of this? I did not realize they had grown so bold as to invade Mogushan forts. This is far too early for another cycle to begin. The rise of their new empress must have spurred them to action. Meanwhile, our scouts report that a massive Mogu army is assembling in the north. In numbers not seen since the days of Lei Shen. With the attention of the Golden Lotus Divine, the Mogu clearly see an opportunity to conquer the Vale and subjugate everyone within. Most troubling of all, though the Veil has been cleansed of the Shah's corruption, a tangible sense of dread lingers in the air. The High Keeper speaks of a looming threat that we are powerless to stop. I can...
came out to draw him out of his malaise. Perhaps you will fare better. There is no hope. The coming threat will consume us all. You only delay the inevitable. Try as I might. It can't be coincidence that just when we need help with the Forge of Origination, we find the Keeper who installed it. You go on ahead. I'll try and talk some sense into him. Of heart. Remote link established. Awaiting circuit completion. Hold your horses, lass. This thing didn't exactly come with instructions. Ouch! That stung. Wait. It all makes sense now. Connecting the power circuit. What's this? Interesting. I'll remember that for later. There! The link is up! Acknowledged. We have in power to forge of origination. We did it, hero! The forge is drawing power from the engine of Nalat Shah. And I found something in the archives that could turn the tide against Nazoth. Come on, let's get back to the High Keeper. Champion, no matter the cost. <laughs> <laughs> 